As you can see here, Detective Nick Smith of the Noka County Sheriff's Office Crime Scene Unit is photo documenting a vehicle. This vehicle was used in an armed robbery, was stopped by the police, the driver was taken into custody. Now the crime scene unit has been called to go ahead and photo document and process the vehicle. As explained earlier, part of our processing efforts include fingerprinting a vehicle or any other articles that might be of evidence or value and have fingerprints on them. Detective Smith is using a white fingerprint powder because it contrasts against the darker colors of the vehicle. So as he applies the powder, any latent fingerprints that are on the surface will show up. Detective Smith is now applying fingerprint tape and he's going to lift the fingerprints. So as he's applying the tape there, he presses down. Now he's labeling it. And when he lifts these, he'll apply them to a clear plastic slide, which will be submitted to the lab. As you can see, he's applying the clear plastic tape to the clear plastic slide. The key to this is not to have any bubbles or wrinkles in it. After all exterior processing is done in the vehicle, we move to the interior of the vehicle. The Detective Smith is collecting a touch DNA swab from the steering wheel, which will be sent to the lab for later analysis. We typically do all exterior processing first, which will be DNA and fingerprinting. At this point, Detective Smith is beginning his evidence collection. The first thing he is collecting inside this vehicle is the handgun, which is reported to be used in the armed robbery. Every item in this vehicle has been photo documented prior to evidence collection. He's removing the weapon, putting in the gun box, where he'll photo document more in great detail. So other items of interest for us in this vehicle would be the Gatorade bottle in the center console. That can be swabbed for DNA. You also notice there's a glass pipe, typically associated with drug use in there. That can also be swabbed for DNA or it could be fingerprinted. Before handling each item of evidence, he changes the exam gloves and each item is put into a new evidence bag. Here we're using paper bags because it's more conducive to collecting DNA and fingerprinting. 